Hey guys, let's unbox the September 2021 Keto Crate right after this. It's September, time for the Keto Crate. Now you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate or stick around to the end of this video to see how you can win your very own Keto Crate. Enough talking, Lego. Ooh, it says rise to the challenge, fall back into routine. Why yes, that is exactly what I need to do. I'm loving the fall theme. It's very autumn, if you will, uh, for the Keto Crate uh, literature. Yes, very orange. It's it's giving me candy corn. You know what I'm saying? I am definitely here for it. Oh my god, snack timber. And there's a little maze in here. What? I get brain teasers as well? I am definitely here for it. Oh my god, Adam, the founder of Keto Crisp. He's one of my favorite people ever. Oh my god, that has to mean that there's a Keto Crisp bar in this Keto Crate, and I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm excited. Enough of this. Enough of this. Let's hop into it. We got some uh, coupons. Okay, I'm not mad. Can't eat a coupon. And here we go. First thing we see, Keto Crisp Almond Butter. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to say, don't get me wrong. I love the almond butter. Like, I feel like it's their standard flavor. I feel like they're always going to give away the almond butter. But, like, if you actually want to try, like, the almond butter with chocolate chips or the chocolate mint or the almond butter and jelly, which is my personal favorite, you're going to pay. But I'll take, <laughs> I'll take this almond butter bar any day. These were actually Richard's number one favorite keto snack ever. So he's going to be so excited that they're in here. This is a keto crisp bar. Serving size, one bar, 220 calories, 17 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, 10 fiber, four sugar alcohol. So I'm going to go four net carbs and then 10 grams of protein. Yeah, these are just absolutely delicious. I love the company. I love the product. One of my favorites. Not one of my favorites. We have paleo friendly Thai green curry, big fork, uh, meat stick. But now Thai green curry does have me just a smidgen interested. I'm not going to say a lot at all, just a smidgen. But like, I want to know how you can make this meat stick taste like Thai green curry. Okay, one meat stick, 50 calories, two grams of fat, less than one gram of carb and seven grams of protein. The ingredients are cut off a little bit. But I do see that there is some cane sugar in here, way down on the list though, but still, you know, that's what you can get with a meat stick. But I'll be, okay, Thai green curry, let's see what you got. Oh, shrewd foods, protein puffs, sour cream and onion. I have had these before, they are delicious. No eggs, soy, peanuts, or tree nuts, no artificial flavors, no colors from artificial sources. Shrewd foods, serving size, one bag. Calories 90, fat three and a half, total carbs two. You can't beat that. You can't beat that for a pre made snack. And then 14 grams of protein. Yeah, so first ingredient milk, protein isolate, and then natural sour cream and onion seasoning, right? So this is like a, a protein puff, as it's clearly stated right there. But I love this particular flavor. I'll be excited to try it. Oh, look here. We have epic artisanal pork rinds. I did notice, I'm not gonna lie, I noticed that this month's box was like light in terms of actual weight. Like normally if they're putting beverages in here or like really dense things, it has a tendency to be a little weighty. But this month I was like, oh, it's kind of light. And that's because we got to make room for all the air products like pork rinds. Um, these are the barbecue flavor. I don't really like barbecue chips or barbecue pork rinds, so we'll see what goes on here. Uh, made with pork skins raised without antibiotics. Thank you. Okay. There are five servings per container. I don't know why they would do that. Each serving has 80 calories, four and a half grams of fat, zero carbs. I'll take that every time. And then eight grams of protein. But the ingredients, pork skins, pork fat, salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, mustard seed, chipotle powder, black pepper, cumin, jalapeno powder, oregano. All those things have carbs, right? So if you eat this entire bag, I always 
count it as like a half carb per serving. So if you were to eat this entire bag, I would count it like two and a half carbs, two carbs. I mean, you can't just say zero and eat one fifth of this bag. At least I can't, right? But I'll be interested to try. I mean, here's the thing. I like all of those things that I named in the ingredients. So we'll see if the barbecue flavor is not your typical barbecue and I like it. Oh, we have a ratio keto friendly bar. This is what big company makes these. I think it's General Mills. Yep, it is General Mills. All right, ratio. They also have a yogurt. This is a vanilla almond crunchy bar. Lord knows I love crunchy things. It look it lists all of the nutritional information right here. Do I even need to like go through it? 17 grams of fat, 2 grams of net carbs. 12 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. Is that added sugar? I'd like to know. Okay, so for one bar, 240 calories, and then there are nine total carbs, three fiber and four sugar alcohol, and that's how they're getting to the two net carb. Let's see the ingredients, almonds, pumpkin seeds, soy protein isolate, coconut oil, erythritol, whey protein isolate, chicory root extract, sea salt, natural flavor, and stevia. So no added sugars, that's okay. You know, I feel like this is one of those Nature Valley sort of situations, and I'm definitely here for a crunchy bar. I'm also really impressed that it is not broken. This crunchy bar is fully intact, so I can't wait to break into this. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Here we have Jimmy Bar. This looks to be a flavor I haven't seen before, macadamia nut. Like, I'm not going to be mad if there's chocolate chips in this one, because I think that macadamia nuts and chocolate chips go together. But the running joke with Jimmy Bar is that the flavor that it lists on here never says anything about chocolate, but there are always chocolate chips in the Jimmy Bar. Uh, so macadamia nut is the flavor. Let's look at the nutritional info. One bar is 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, 11 fiber, so that means four net carbs, and nine grams of protein. Ingredients, peanuts, tapioca fiber syrup, macadamia nuts, whey protein, and dark chocolate coating. When I tell you, am I missing it? Nowhere on here does it say chocolate. But still, they put chocolate in everything. But still, we'll see. But I do like macadamia nuts, so I'm interested to try this. Oh my gosh! Okay, new product alert. Mm, that was great. Did you hear that? I killed that. Mochi's Protein Blitz Mix. Okay, I don't know whoever focus grouped that name, but all right. So this is crunchy cheddar cheese bites and whole roasted almonds. So basically, it's like a moon cheese and they've just added almonds themselves. Remember, all the other companies, Keto Farms, High Low Snacks, like they basically, I was like, oh, this is basically moon cheese with nuts in it. Now moon cheese has come out with its own version of moon cheese with nuts in it. So. I mean, I, I expect this to be good. It is the Crazy Cheese Power Pack is what they're calling it. So for one pack, which I do love how it's like vacuum sealed. I mean, listen, nothing is shaking in here because it's all vacuum sealed in place. 240 calories, 20 grams of fat, damn. Five total carbs, two fiber. So that's three net carbs, not too bad. And then 12 grams of protein, like, I'm excited to try this. Way to go, Moon Cheese. Way to finally realize that everyone else was just taking your product and mixing it with nuts <laughs> and to get in on the action yourself. Okay. Oh, High Key. What? Did I know High Key has almond flour crackers? If I didn't before, I do now. Oh, my goodness. Almond flour, cheddar crackers. I'm, I'm definitely feeling like they're supposed to give us the cheese it vibe here. For once again, the per container servings. Thank you, Haki. Thank you for knowing me and knowing that just giving like a one serving nutritional information is not gonna cut it. Calories for the whole bag, 240 calories, 18 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, 10 fiber, so three net carbs for this whole package, yes please. Uh, and then 11 grams of protein. I am here for it. They're all kind of clumped together, but still, I'm gonna try it. I know I'm gonna like it. Oh, Good Sam. I just heard about them from the Keto Crate a couple of months ago. Good Sam dark chocolate candy coated almonds. No, you did not, Good Sam. Oh my gosh, these look great. There are three and a half servings per container. Why, Lord? Why would you do that? But still, per serving, there are 110 calories, 
8 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, jeez louise, and there are 2 grams of fiber and 5 sugar alcohol, that's still not enough, so I have to think that there's some allulose in there, yep, yep there is, 4 grams of net carb per serving, and then 3 grams of protein per serving. So the carb count is 13 total carbs minus 2 from fiber, minus 4 from allulose, and then it says 60% of 3 grams of isomold. Don't really know what that means. But either way, when you subtract all of that, that's 4 net carbs per serving. So the ingredients, roasted almonds, dark chocolate, which is cocoa mass, allulose, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, isomultulose, from beet sugar. Okay, so that's like a direct sugar derivative. And then there's coloring. I wonder what you need the coloring for. Maybe to make the beet sugar chocolate look like chocolate. Either way, I mean, it's some pretty hard coating, so we'll see how it goes. And then finally, mmm, Good D's sugar-free cookies. Oh, we haven't had Good D's in a very long time. That means I get to make cookies, yay! Let's see, to make, you will need one large egg, one fourth cup of melted unsalted butter or coconut oil, and then one half teaspoon vanilla extract. That's not bad for a cookie mix. You remember like some cookie mixes, you need basically everything but flour and to make the cookie mix, but now all you need is those three things. So as prepared, this makes 12 cookies. And one cookie is 11 grams of fat, nine total carbs, three fiber, four sugar alcohols. So that is two net carbs per cookie and then three grams of protein. Okay, ingredients. Almond flour, erythritol, soluble tapioca fiber, sodium bicarbonate, salt, and stevia. I mean, that is pretty, pretty standard right there. Okay, guys, and that's all in this one's keto crate. You know what? I'm pretty okay with this. I will give it a B plus. Some things I haven't seen in a very long time. Some products from brands that I've heard of, but products that I haven't heard of before. Uh, and then just, you know, your run-of-the-mill savory items uh, and just a good amount of bars as well. You know what? Definite, definite B plus here. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate or you can enter to win your own by commenting down below and letting me know which of these items would you like to try the most. Honestly, let me know which ones you've already tried because I feel like we have a lot of oldies but goodies in this situation, but still, I'm gonna be excited to smash the crate with my mother and my husband and try every single one of these items. So check back and watch the Smash the Crate video because that's where we're gonna draw the winner. You comment on this video, we announce it on that video, okay? So comment down below to enter to win this Keto Crate. Let us know which items you would be most interested to try and then check back next week. Overall, I'm very pleased and I can't wait to get to snacking. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Watch Autumn Keto, and ding that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I go live or post a new video. Catch you on Smash the Crate. Bye!